with the time you guys have had off here before the start of the regular season, what are maybe some of the things you guys are focusing on right now? Um, I just think uh, having chemistry, having continuity, um, on I, I think especially the defensive end. I think that's where our biggest learning curve is going to be. I think we got young talent, guys that can score, Ant, Shea, Scoot. These guys can play. Um, but I think defensively, us being a cohesive unit is going to be super important to start the season. What, what would constitute success for this team this season, do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's something we're still trying to figure out. Um, it's something I talk to, to coach about a lot. Um, but it's, you know, right now it's, it's having a good start to the season. Um, you know, for me to say championship or for me to say, you know, any, any type of tangible goal right now, I, I think would be misleading. I think we have to focus on the day-to-day -day with such a young team and, and getting better every day. Ant mentioned playoffs yesterday. Do you think if everything comes together right that this team could at least be a postseason team? Absolutely. We, we can. We, we can and we need to believe that. We have to believe that. Um, but we gotta, we got to have it come together and we got to have a good start to the season. That's a good point, way to put it, too, especially as a vet, knowing that like it's a long season. So even saying something now doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be what it is a month from now or four months from now. Yeah, you know, a lot of people look at us as, you know, one of the teams in the league that's going to struggle this year the most. Um, I don't look at it like that. I look at it as we're a young, talented team. What we lack in experience, we have in speed, athleticism, and uh, I think ability to pick up on the fly. This is a high IQ team. What do you think of how Shaden has looked so far? I know he's a guy you've played with a lot in the second unit. He's great. He's a starter playing on the, on a, on, on the second unit. Um, he's looked great. He's played well. Um, he, he, he picks up, you know, stuff I'm trying to teach him, stuff I'm, I'm doing with him. He, he's picking it up extremely fast. Um, he's a talent, man. He's super talented. Uh, he, it, it's only up from here for him. What have you showed him? Uh, I think more so slowing down. It's, you know, I think a lot of guys, you know, Chauncey always talks about playing fast. we got to play fast because we're young. And I think a lot of young guys can mistake that as being out of control, making mistakes, turning the ball over. When really, I think Chauncey's talking about playing with pace. So getting the ball up the floor. But once we're in the half court, we can settle in and be organized um, and make sure that we get a good shot. How have you settled into what you think your role is going to be? Uh, I, I mean, I feel like I've settled in well. This is year eight for me. So um, I, I've really played, you know, all different types of roles on all different levels of teams. Um, so here it's a it's a going to be a six man leadership role um, where they want me to be the voice in the locker room, and I, I fully embrace that. I'm excited to be here. I, mean, I said that in training camp. I'm excited to be here with these young guys, to be with guys like DeAndre, Rob, Jeremy, um, and and embrace this challenge ahead of us. How much teaching would you say you're doing right now? Because it seems like you you are out there a lot, kind of kind of directing things. A lot, a lot. That's what Chauncey, that's what the staff expects from me. Um, I have the experience to, to help the young guys come along. So um, that's a big part of my job and responsibility here. And I love it. I love it. So I'm, I'm fully embracing it every day. Is it, is it tough at all, though, because, okay, this is kind of corny, but the Blazers had to play a game tomorrow for all of humanity. You would probably be starting with Ant in the backcourt, right? <laughs> because you're ahead of Sharp and you're ahead of Scoot. So is, is it tough taking that role knowing that? You're better than them? You know, no, I, I don't look at it like that. I more so look at it as, you know, my role is going to be to help this team finish games and win games. And that's what, for me, that's what's really important, being on the floor at the end of the game. Um, I think it's honestly important for Scoot to get this experience uh, starting and uh, playing that starting guard role. He's going to be the franchise player, you know, going forward. So, you know, he has to be invested in and given that opportunity. How do you think Scoot did in his first preseason? How do you think Scoot did in his first preseason? I thought he did great. I thought he did great. I mean, of course, everybody looks at the stat line. I think he put up good stats, but I think he's he's adapting fast. Um, he's he's skilled. He's talented, and he's learning fast. So I think you know I think he's going to continue to do great.